Good day viewers, I am Okocha Abi Marcel and this is my channel. The Federal Government of Nigeria, or Progressive Congress, and the Independent National Electoral Commission are not happy because of the report from the EU election observers. The report... report on 2023 presidential election confirms pool was massively rigged for Tinibu, says Labour Party. The Labour Party has described the report of the European Union election observation mission on the 2023 general election in Nigeria as confirmation of connivance between the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC, and the All Progressive Congress-led government. The party disclosed this in a press statement issued by its National Publicity Secretary, Obiora Ifo, on Sunday night in reaction to the federal government's dismissal of the EU mission report. The statement said, and I quote, the leadership of the Labour Party has noted with dismay the statement by the federal government discrediting the Euro European Union's conclusion on the 2023 general election, wherein it faltered the modalities by which the conclusion was reached. We see this face-saving measure by the federal government, which is coming days after the submission of the report as feeble and medicine after death. It will interest the government to note that the European Union's report is only one out of numerous submissions by other international observers who have described the outcome of the election as a sham and an exercise that did not reflect the will of the majority of Nigerians. Labour Party stands by the position of the EU observation mission. We have always said that this election was massively rigged in favour of the APC and their candidates. What the federal government is saying is just an afterthought and a shameless effort to max the obvious. Even the blind can see, the deaf can hear, and they know this election was manipulated. Huge pieces of evidence are bound for even the deaf and the blind to hear and feel. We are only hoping that the judiciary will dispense justice without fear or favor in interest of the nation and posterity. Nigerians already know the true winner of the 2023 presidential election and the amount of slandering, denial or rebuttal can change the fact that the party in power has no mandate of the electorate. We must also note that whatever position the INEC has taken is with active connivance with the federal government to deny the electorate and it clearly shows that INEC is not in any way independent. The commission's action is at the whims and caprices of the government and we know it. But Nigerians look into the judiciary for justice. That's where we stand. I really appreciate the effort of the European Union election observers and their integrity for the findings and the suggestions, everything they have done during the election. However, there is something the federal government of Nigeria need to understand, especially the APC government. In the year 20. 11, if I'm not mistaken, the election that brought Adhaji um, Umaru Musa Yaradwa, the PDP president that won the election that time, what happened? Yaradwa said, even though I won this election, there were irregularities in some part of the country. That is how a leader should talk. That is how a leader should behave. Now, the federal government are not happy and they are saying that the EU is biased, that they are biased about the report they gave for this election. Even though you are blind, you could hear or even see from your blindness that this election was rigged, that this election has so many irregularities to mention but few. Voter suppression, voters intimidation, not adherence to the Electoral Act of 2022, among others. So what do you want Nigerians to do? How do you want Nigerians to be happy? So. Tinumbu came to realize at the end, APC came to realize at the end, even Independent National Electoral Commission, they have now understand that the business is not as usual. This period is not the time for you to rig election and go away with it as usual. What normally happens in Nigeria in the past and the political edit, normalizing all these irregularities to favor them in suppressing the will of the masses who will come out to vote. Imagine Nigeria, 250 million people estimate. Only 25 million people, INEC told us that they voted. And people that registered were up to 90 something million people. Can, can you imagine? So, even though the federal government they said that the European Union they are, they are biased, it shows the kind of people they are. It shows. 
thank God that the EU is not the Party, EU is not PDP, EU is not any group in Nigeria. They could say no because this person, these people belong to a particular party. Must we disgrace ourselves, you know, in the front of the international communities? How would they look at us if our leaders are behaving like this? I'm so disappointed in the federal government for even challenging or opposing the EU, saying that they are biased. Biased about what? Are they supporting any candidate? Don't we see the irregularities that took place during the election? Why did the INEC off the transmitting um, portal of a presidential election, the presidential results? They said it was a technical glitch. But the software engineer came to court to say, this thing is not a technical glitch. It was intentionally shut down. So these people are playing with us. They are playing with emotion. A lot of Nigerians have been have been passing through trauma and emotional disorder because of what happened during the election. Some person that sustained wound during the presidential election, the wound has not been healed up till now. The federal government, the INEC, imagine INEC, they have not even come out to show remorse that oh we made mistakes. Please forgive us. Look at they are even being proud talking. Sorry to say, they are talking rubbish. When the masses are suffering, when people are passing pain of what you have done because of the weakness of your institution and you are coming out to tell um, the media that the election was free. Free or in what? How? In what means? How? How can you come out to say that the election is free, that the European Union is, um, is biased? But thank God that Labour Party has come out to respond, to say that the European Union Election Observers Report has vindicated them and also vindicated PDP that this election was rigged. And I am happy because all these things are happening when the case is on the court, when the case is before the election petition tribunal sitting in a court of appeal in Abuja. They can see, they can hear, they can feel what went wrong. So everybody knows what is going on. So let's see the outcome of this election and how it's going to be. Gentlemen!